What's up everybody? Welcome back to the garage. Converting your LS swap to electric fans is a quick and easy way to pick up some power and keep it cool. So today I'm going to show you how to hook up dual electric fans on your LS swap. So first we're going to go over the dual fan harness layout and then we'll show how to hook it up to your computer. So starting up on the top we have all of our power wires. Both of these red wires are our power for our relays and this orange wire is our trigger wire for our relays. All three of these wires will need 12 volt power either directly from the battery or an ignition source. Each fan relay is individually fused and we have a single fuse for both of the trigger wires. The output power from your relay will run to your fans. I'm using lights here so you can see the whole circuit at once. Then the fans will run a ground off to your battery. So with this setup and the ECM grounds your trigger relay, it will turn on your fans. You can also split off of these wires and run them to an auxiliary switch so you can have manually turned on fans along with your automatic fans with the computer. So when wiring up your typical Bosch style relay, it's important to make sure you put everything in the right place. There are three vertical pins and two horizontal pins. So the center of the three vertical pins, or the bottom one in the row of three pins, is your input power. The centermost pin is normally closed and the top center pin is normally open. When this relay is hooked up and not triggered, the center pin will have power and the top pin will not have power. The two side pins are your trigger wires. The polarity does not matter, one is power, one is ground. When the relay is triggered, then your center pin will not have power and your top pin will have power. So for this, the power from the battery will go to the lower center terminal. The output to the fan will go on the top center terminal. The trigger power will go on the left and the trigger ground to the ECM will go on the right. That is a lot of information. So I put together a wiring diagram you can download in the link in the description as a PDF. All right, back to the garage. So with this harness setup and in an LS swap application, your ECM is your ground for your trigger wires for your relays. So you want your trigger wire set up to go from the battery to your relay to your ECM. If you're running a third gen motor from 99 to 02 with the blue red connectors, there's only one factory fan control wire and that is pin 42 on the blue connector. Pin 33 on red is your AC control and that can be switched over to a secondary fan control. Or you could have pin 42 blue be the trigger for both fans. In 03 to 07 or blue green, it's the same pins. But 03 to 07 is set up from the factory with two fan control wires. At this point in time, I don't have any fourth gen harness information, but I'm hoping to get that soon. So whether you're hooking up electric fans on your LS swap project or trying to squeeze a little bit more power out of your daily, I hope this helped. If you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. And if you didn't, hey, hit it anyway. We're going to have a ton more of this coming. Thanks for watching and let's LS swap the world.